I found myself in middle America and it was the most enlightening thing I think I've ever done. Alex Mullen. Honest. It's, you know, about looking at the American dream. You know, was the American dream real? How, how far did it go? How far did it influence? And, and I would suggest that it probably went worldwide. <laughs> in, in the um, early 80s, I was really searching around for my own style. And it wasn't until I worked for the Courthold Institute of Art in London you know, I went around Europe taking photographs of signs. It was really an odd thing, and I don't know what compelled me to do that. There was something really burning there, but my time in London was starting to um, come to an end, so I decided to go through uh, North America, and I started off in Vancouver and on a Greyhound bus. I always sat down the back of the bus for two reasons. One, you could smoke. <laughs> two is that you really got to meet um, just, just, you know, ordinary Americans. And they never went traveled very far. It was only ever one town to another. But in every town that I went to, you know, from Montana all the way through into Kansas, they were just towns, some of them small, some of them big, but they were on their knees. And the American dream was well and truly over for these places. And that was in 1985. And it's, it's interesting when politics has picked up on the Rust Belt in 2016. But this was occurring in 1985. Towns were decaying, falling apart, communities were at a very, very low ebb, and I, I would suggest they have been, you know, well before I was there in 1985. I paint in layers, you know, and and the first thing is if you look at say a rusty old site. And I think there's a lot of beauty in that rust. And it's a bit like Van Gogh's work boots. Most people would just look at it and say, oh, it's just a scruffy pair of work boots. But there was actually a lot of beauty in those boots, just as there is in the rust. There is something about decay where there's actually a lot of beauty. And we may have created this neat sign to begin with that's clean, crisp, brand new, shiny that ends up decaying and rusting and there's actually beauty in that rust with the original intent. I really take design elements from the street and put it into the gallery space. And I call this practice Scientology. Art can be safe. It can be um, pretty to look at. But I want to go a step further and, and take really the myths that we and and the stories that we tell ourselves about um political and social they're really more social things rather than political things like saying does, re does racism really exist in this country and and we tell ourselves a story that it doesn't, but it's about confronting that myth and maybe providing a statement. As, you know, someone asked me um, a while ago if I could could sum up art in, in, in one sentence, and really it was it was simply this um, that art. Really good art excites me visually, but then actually moves my view of the world.